Hi everybody, welcome back to Owen Co channel. My name is Omar. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. In this video, I'm going to add the second part of the footer to our website. And if you did not see the previous video, don't forget to click on above right corner link of the videos. And let's start our coding. Okay, I have added the first part. I'm going to add the second part of the footer. At first, I need to see the image, what is it look like. It has one, two, three, four, five parts to build. Okay, we are start to building the first part of it. Here we are going to have a div by the class of first part. And we will have a H1 text prices and a discount button and three reviews in here. Okay. At first we need to have a span. Span by the name of backpack. Backpack. Okay, and have a H1 by the name of the Blue Burton Backpack. Blue, Blue Burton Backpack. I'm going to see the spell. Okay, it's like this. Uh, and I'm going to add the next part that it's going to be the price and uh, the reviews. It will be a div, not dialogue, a div that uh, has the prices, a discount button, and uh, reviews. It will be, it will be three uh, or it will be. One, two, three, uh, uh, three spans in here, and one spans, two spans in here. I'm not going to add these stores because I don't have it, and will I will add in the next videos in to this. Okay, we need to have div, two divs, div, and uh, have. Mm, a class of price to this div and add some span span by the name of class by the class of uh, price price one and something like three four five two zero three four five zero zero and another span of sorry uh two two three uh zero zero two two three zero zero and has a dollar sign oh my god dollar sign in front of them refresh the page it will look like this and I'm going to add the next part that will be <coughs> the, by the class of review <coughs> review another span by the class of reviews and add the three reviews in here refresh the page okay now we are going to style these and uh, these dates
actually we don't need to install this h1 and backpack we need to install this price and reviews uh, this class of price price and review container we are going to style the price and review container in here from style.css control v display flex not in line flex align item center justify content space between control k is and it will look like this okay in here we are going to add another button uh, another button by the name of uh, this can button but uh, we don't need to have a button actually we need to have a span by the name of by the class of button and add a uh, discount in here and style it from style.css dot button and add a uh, first we need to look at it what it look like and now we are going to add a padding of 5 pixel and 10 pixel 5 pixel to the top and the bottom and 10 pixel to the right and the left and add a background color of red and add a color of another co and other color of white like this and the last thing that i'm going to add is a border radius like uh, a border radius of 10 pixels i think i'm going to increase it yes i'm going to uh, look at the picture and now i need to 25 pixels of border radius and it will look like this okay in here i need to add a review a review text next to the three three number um, a review okay refresh the page and it will look like this now i'm going to see what uh, we have in here when we have a layer on text in here now we are going to add it and border border bottom of one pixel one pixel solid gray add a padding or padding bottom of 20 pixel 20 pixel like this okay the, the next thing that I'm going to add in here is to is to add the thing that I'm going to add in here is another div by the class of in class of second port in the second port we need to have a paragraph a p tag and have something like hello to fb one well welcome 
and welcome to the channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe Control S and refresh the page. And I'm going to break some of from here. Add a break tag. Control S. And it will look like this. I'm going to add a style to the footer. I'm going to find it, Ctrl F to find it, F footer. As you see in here we have two search for footer. We don't need to, this one, these two, we just want one of them. Ctrl S, the first footer that I search it will be this one. And I'm going to save it. Refresh it, it will look like this, but I don't want to do this padding and the margin. I want just want to add the space between two space evenly. Refresh the page and it will look like this. Uh, I think this uh, space is too much for our design, and I'm going to find the product card. To decrease the 12, 1200 pixels to 900 will be okay for our design. Control S and it will look like this and uh, add more pixels to the margin left will like 200 pixels will be okay and our card will be centered. No, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't happen. And I'm going to increase it to 300 pixels and now it will look better. The last thing that I'm going to add <coughs> in here is to uh, change the opacity of this first price to lower opacity. And I'm going to do it like getting the price the price and uh, price and get the first choice and change the opacity to 0.5 refresh the page and the price and the first choice or we uh, i can do this like this select the price in price one control v and like this hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you did not see the previous video, don't forget to click on the right above link of my videos and stay tuned. I will add more videos like this in this channel and good luck to you and have a good time.